Talk to me about what this law is going to mean for the people of Arizona. Yes, we are already seeing uh, the standard of care being compromised, not because doctors are choosing to compromise the standard of care, but just exactly the example that we just heard, that um, that they're having to talk to their lawyers to find out if the care that they need to offer their patients is going to en end them up in, in jail. Uh, this decision was devastating for Arizonans. Uh, what it means is that there is no more legal abortion in the state of Arizona right now. And as governor, I will use every single tool at my disposal to work to restore access to safe and legal abortion in the state of Arizona. And just to, to give our viewers a sense of, of what we are talking about here, News 12 Tucson reports a 14-year-old girl 14 years old, has already been denied her life-saving arthritis medication because it could be used to terminate a pregnancy. So we are talking about a broader scope of health care than just pregnancy itself that is going to yeah. be affected by these laws. I do want to ask you, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy did not rule out a federal abortion ban when he was asked about one on the agenda. Take a listen. You know, in our commitment to America, we talk clearly about we're here to protect the children and the mother. It's very clear about that. What I'm very concerned about is how drastic the Democrats have gone, how extreme. Now they're so extreme, they'll go all the way to have an abortion at birth, at birth. I get real concerned by that. I mean, this is the decoy that, that, they, that they like to do, sort of head fake, where they're talking about a very small percentages of abortions that take place in order to often save a mother's life or because there are health complications at the end of a pregnancy. So we're not going to even really acknowledge that head right. fake that they do there. But what do you see as the broader stakes for abortion access this fall? And what do you make of the fact that you have a sort of a nod to a federal abortion ban at the same time you have Republicans saying, well, it's just about the states? Exactly. I mean, we have a Supreme Court who, whose justices said that abortion and Roe was settled law, and obviously they they ruled in the opposite direction of that. Uh, and now you have them saying it's a state's issue, and we clearly see a, a, a push at the federal level. If Republicans uh, take the House and Senate, they will pass a federal abortion ban. Uh, so it is not a state's issue, and um, even in states where now it is legal, if the federal Federal, um, if Congress and the Senate, the Republicans get their way, uh, we will have a nationwide ban. And this is dangerous. It puts women's lives at risks, risk, as we are already seeing in the compromised care that uh, is the result of full-on bans like we have in Arizona. Not just pregnancy and miscarriage care, but uh, but but other treatment, as you uh, mentioned, the, the denied prescription uh, that could cause abortion. Last week, Rep Republican Representative Liz Cheney she said she's determined to take down election deniers, which would include your opponent, Carrie Lake, and she made an unusual offer. Take a listen. So are you going to campaign for Katie Hobbs, the Democratic candidate for governor in Arizona, as a result of that? Uh, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that Carrie Lake is not elected. So... Does that include campaigning for Democrats if that's what it takes? Yes. Katie, are we going to see you sharing a stage with Liz Cheney? We welcome support of a broad coalition of folks to make sure that Arizona stays in the hands of a leader who's going to bring sanity instead of chaos. Uh, if that, if Liz Cheney com wants to come to Arizona, I welcome her, as well as the uh, broad coalition of, of sane Republicans who want a sane leader in the governor's office who have joined our campaign.